Hello everyone, this is Teacher Reggio. This video is to address the competency transform the quadratic function defined by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c into the form y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Actually, this y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k is called the vertex form of the quadratic function. And the point h, k is called the vertex. Now let's do example number one. Write y equals x squared plus 4x minus 1 in vertex form and tell the vertex. Let's copy down our quadratic function. So the first thing we are going to do is to enclose in parentheses the first two terms, the quadratic term and the linear term. And why do I have space here? Because the next step that we are going to do is to complete the square. How do we do that? To complete the square, we are going to find half of 4, then square it. So half of 4 is 2 then 2 squared is 4, so we add 4 here. And to compensate the 4 that we have added inside the parentheses, we are going to subtract 4 from negative 1, which is outside the parentheses. Now, x squared plus 4x plus 4 is now a perfect squared trinomial. Since it's a perfect squared trinomial, we can express this as square of a binomial that looks like this. So if we are going to multiply back, okay, the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 2, this will be our product, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now we are going to simplify uh, ne negative 1 minus 4, that gives us, okay, minus 5. Now, the vertex, h, k, is the opposite of this number after x and the number outside. So that means negative 2, negative 5 is our vertex. Let's do another example. Transform y equals negative x squared plus 12x plus 7 into vertex form and give the vertex. First, we will copy down our quadratic function. So first step, we are going to enclose in parentheses the first two terms. And we have a negative one coefficient here. So what we will do is bring this coefficient first outside the parentheses. We do that by factoring. If we are going to bring the negative one out, so this positive 12x will be affected. So it looks like this. If we multiply back negative 1 times x squared, it gives us negative x squared. And if we multiply back negative 1 times negative 12x, it gives us positive 12x. Now we are going to complete the square inside the parentheses. So we will get half of 12 which is 6, then square it, 6 squared is 36. So question, because we added 36 here, does it mean that we are going to subtract 36 here, outside the parentheses? No. Notice that if we are going to multiply back, okay, negative 1 times x squared, this gives us again negative x squared. And negative 1 times negative 12x, it's positive 12x. And negative 1 times 36, it's negative 36. So, because it's negative 36, we are going to add 36 outside the parentheses. Now, x squared minus 12x plus 36 is a perfect square. So, we can write this as square of a binomial. That looks like this. Now we can simplify negative 7 plus 36. That's 29. And the vertex, okay, is this one, h, k, 6, and 
29. Let's do another example. Transform y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 into vertex form and give the vertex. So we will write down our quadratic function. First step, we are going to enclose in parentheses the first two terms. Then we are going to bring this coefficient 2 out. Okay, so to do that, we can uh, do that by factoring, but uh, be reminded that this 4 will be affected. Okay, so looks like this. So if we multiply back 2 times x squared is 2x squared, 2 times 2x gives you 4x. Now we are ready to complete the square inside the parentheses. Half of 2 is 1, square it, it's still 1. So we add 1 there. Now, do we subtract 1 from 3? No, because we are going to consider this 2 again here. So 2 times 1 is 2. So meaning to say we will subtract 2. Now, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. We can express this as square of a binomial. It looks like this. Okay, then of course we can simplify 3 minus 2, which is 1. And now our vertex again is hk, the opposite of the number after x and the number outside. So that's negative 1, 1. Example number 4. Okay, Transform y equals negative 3x squared minus 24x minus 25 into vertex form and give the vertex. So we will copy down our quadratic uh, function. Then we are going to enclose in parentheses the first two terms. And then we still have here uh, negative 3 as the coefficient of x squared. We are going to bring this out. So by factoring. So if we are going to bring this negative 3 out, this negative 24x will be affected. So it looks like this. So if we are going to multiply back again, uh, notice that this negative 3 times x squared is okay, equal to negative 3x squared. And negative 3 times 8x equals negative 24x. Now we will complete the square inside the parentheses. Half of 8 is 4, then 4 square is 16. So we add 16. Now again, okay, we notice that there is negative 3 here. So negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. So this means we are going to add 48, okay, outside the parentheses. Now x squared plus 8x plus 16 is now a perfect square trinomial, so we can express this as square of a binomial that looks like this. And of course, we can simplify negative 25 plus 48, that's plus 23. Now our vertex is the opposite of the number inside the parentheses here, the number after x, and the number outside. So it's negative 4 and 23. I prepared here four items for you to practice. So you can pause the video and try writing these quadratic functions into vertex form and tell the vertices. If you are done, I can now show you the answer. This is the answer for item number one. The vertex form is y equals the quantity x minus h squared minus six, and our vertex is five negative six. Item number two, 
our vertex form is y equals negative 1 times the quantity x minus 7 squared minus 1. Our vertex is 7, negative 1. Item number 3, our vertex form is 2 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 11. Our vertex is negative 2, negative 11. And item number 4, our vertex form is negative 4 times the quantity x plus 3 squared plus 41. And our vertex is negative 3, 41. Did you get all the items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Red Jill. Keep safe.